Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with a Technical Trader. It's Tuesday, May 11th, and these are the charts of the day. Starting off alphabetically as usual, Acacia Research, which we've talked about several times in the last week yeah. or two, um, continues to look excellent. Wanted to show you today's action up another 34 cents on 460,000 shares, but the stock is beginning to move across the April highs, uh, which is also the uh, high for the last two and a half years. So we're coming up to, and we're coming up to a key resistance level um, near the $17 range, which I believe may be tested shortly and perhaps even broken. Um, but going forward, I'm looking for a pop to test that range, and then we'll see if we get through. If we do, secondary target around 20. Applied Energetics, AERG, um, looking pretty good here. Broke out of a nice little base over the last eight months. At the end of March, um, began to a new rising channel here. Um, it's a nice orderly advance with good technicals as technicals improve. The stock jumped another 21 cents at 14.48 percent today. Today on heavy volume in three weeks and appears to want to break out across lateral price resistance in this zone here. Uh, the um, secondary target is up around the two and a quarter level, followed by another target up just under three. AIG American International Group. Um, after pulling back down to test the rising channel bottom, has a snap back smartly and appears to want to test the 45, 90, 46 resistance zone. A move across that could get us up to 51, my um, secondary trading target. Serious Logic had a terrific day today, jumping $1.80 or 15% on the heaviest volume in years and is now up against key overhead resistance at this line here. A break through that and we could see the stock move to secondary a target around the uh, $17 range and then potentially something up just under 20. Commercial Vehicle Group, CBGI, popped three days ago, backed off and then started to move again. We have a little bit of a resistance up around 1260. If taken out, the stock could accelerate short-term trading target uh, around 15 and then around 18. Precious metal stocks are acting very well here. Hecla Mining, one of my favorite junior silver stocks, um, surged today on 21 million shares, up 36%, and is, uh, appears to be about to break out across a key resistance zone that's um, held the stock back for the last seven, six, seven months. Uh, if that does occur, and I believe it could, we should see a move that takes us up to the seven, seven and a half zone short term, but a long term target up around 11. Kerex Biopharma, which we added to our portfolio today, um, lo looking quite good. We exited this last trade up in this zone. It pulled back, consolidated, and I wanted to re enter because I feel there's more upside coming. Short term target, seven and three quarters, eight, an immediate target in the eight, nine and a half, ten zone. L&L -L Energy, LLEN. Appears to have completed a, an intermediate um, decline with a reversal day two days ago, a gap up yesterday, and then a little bit of a back off today. But I really feel the stock is about to explode back up through key resistance here. And if that occurs, look for a quick move to around $11, followed by a secondary move up towards 12 and a half. NBS NeoStem popped out of a nice little base pattern today. Um, across double resistance zone on heavy volume, advanced 13%, 36 cents, and appears to be headed higher. Sharp turn target at four and then five. Pacer International has significant day today, jumping 76 cents or 10.6% on one and a half million. Um, moved across these little tops in this range and closed right at resistance near the $8 level. If it gets any follow through at all, we could see the stock at nine and a half, 10, my short term target, secondary target. 11 half, 12. Prolar Biotech, PBTH, just a beautiful chart, nicely formed, great technicals, and edging and uh, surging higher. I expect that the stock could accelerate up towards the uh, seven and a half, eight zone, maybe eight and a quarter, my short-term trading target. UPI, Europlasty, um, looking quite good as recent strong volume, followed by a two-day the lower volume pullback was followed by today's breakout up another 29 cents on 710,000 shares. But it appears this one could really get going, particularly if it takes out the five and a quarter area, uh, which is key resistance here. If that occurs, I expect the stock could make it up towards the seven and three quarters eight zone. And lastly for today is Zoltec, which had a significant surge of $1.27 at one point up nearly $1.80, um, backing off. Uh, somewhat resistance zones here, but I'm looking for a move that takes this up to the $12 range 
short term. And if it takes out the twelve and a half dollar zone, I could see something around fifteen to seventeen on an intermediate basis. That's it for today's ideas, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow. Bye bye.